Chapter 7 Fun and Fairs India is an amazing country. Over a billion people live together here in harmony, speak hundreds of different languages or dialects, and follow different religions and traditions. India's diversity is reflected in its great variety of foods, dresses, languages, festivals, arts and crafts, etc. Every day in some corner of India, people dress in new clothes, sing, dance, worship, feast and rejoice to mark some festival. These festivals may be religious or secular in nature, marking the birth of a god or the beginning of the sowing season. A festival is a time to forget the worries of daily life. It is a time to celebrate and enjoy. Most festivals are accompanied with melas or fairs. They highlight the crafts and culture of a region. Thousands of tourists are attracted to the music and dance programs. The children as well as the grown-ups enjoy the swings and rides. You can see long queues near the games and rides. The Nochandi Mela is held in Meerut in Uttar Pradesh every year. It dates back to 1672 AD. It begins on the second Sunday after Holi every year. The unique feature of this Mela is that it opens only at night. It began as a cattle fair where people went for sale and purchase of animals. But now the Mela includes all types of goods, entertainment and food stalls. You can find handicrafts from different parts of UP as well as Meerut's famous gachak made of sesame seeds and sugar or jaggery. The Nachandi Mela is a unique symbol of Hindu-Muslim harmony. Both the Nachandi Temple and Dargah of Bala Mia are close by. Great Elephant March Kerala is known as the God's own country because of its natural beauty. Every year in the month of December or January, the Great Elephant March is organized here. The event continues for three days. The march begins in Thrissur and ends in the capital of Kerala, Tiruvananthapuram. A hundred and one elephants participate in the Great March. They are all gorgeously decorated and accompanied by beautiful umbrellas. The march is followed by 72 hours of cultural performances and sporting events, snake boat races, Kathakali, Mohini Attam performances, Kalari Payattu duels, elephant tug of war and the fireworks. The Great Elephant March is popular with both Indian and foreign tourists. Thousands of tourists come for the elephant safari that takes the visitors through the green countryside. Suraj Kund Crafts Mela The Suraj Kund Crafts Mela is held from 1st to 15th February at Suraj Kund in Haryana. It celebrates the traditional art forms and crafts of India in beautiful rural setting. This fortnight-long event attracts both Indian and foreign tourists. They enjoy the spirit and the art of India's rich cultural heritage. The craftspersons from all over the country meet here and display their age-old craft traditions. Visitors can see them at work and shop for some of the world's most treasured wares. The stalls are filled with brilliant mirror work, lace work, folk motifs on terracotta, metal work, cane work, wooden toys, beautiful pieces of furniture, embroidery and the tinkle of lovely bangles. The folk dances of different states and musical evenings are organized at the fan-shaped open-air theatre named Natya Shala throughout the fortnight. The Suraj Kund Mela has been successful in bringing different states of India together on one platform through the display of their craft, art and cultural richness. Do you know? Every year the Suraj Kund Crafts Mela has a different theme of any one state of India. Circus a short figure with a brightly painted face, wearing flamboyant clothes, 
struts into the circus ring, waves his hat and lets out a cheery whoop. The next moment he has the spectators laughing as he tumbles over when he is hit by a football aimed at him by another joker. The jokers amuse as well as help the other artists in their performance. The jokers are the major attraction in the circus, especially for kids. So far, animals like lions, horses, monkeys, bears, elephants, ducks, pigeons, etc. were the favorite artists for the children. But the government has banned animal performances in the circus to save them from cruelty, like being locked in very small cages and transported over long distances. The jokers, trapeze artists and acrobats entertain the children and the grown-ups 